米奇。Knows what Pokemon is. It's so popular. The chances are quite big that you have either seen the TV show, one of the twenty or so movies, played a card or video games, or come across the toys or any pictures of Pikachu somewhere in the world. Anyway, onto the game that I found. This is actually a game based on the idea of cosplaying different Pokemon, but I decided to instead try and make my own Pokemon trainers. Like I have done in previous videos, I will give them all names and a little background information, and then decide them however I want to. No reference pictures needed for this at all. All I need is imagination. So I started with this lady, who I decided to call Hibiki. She got her starter Pokemon at the age of ten and left home to go start catching Pokemon and compete in gyms. She loves training all day and all night with the six Pokemon that she has caught in her four years away from home, but she's nowhere near a master yet. Even though she loves training Pokemon, she has no natural talent for it and needs to work extra hard compared to everybody else. Hibiki travels alone for most of the time, but sometimes meets up with other trainers at Pokemon centers and joins along on their adventures. She even has a long-distance boyfriend somewhere in the world, who she bumps into from time to time. Becoming a well-known trainer in her region, her biggest rival at the moment is her ex-boyfriend, who is always one step ahead and keeps beating her in tournaments. But Yuka's girlfriend and travel companion Kishi is always there to keep her calm when she gets too frustrated with her ex. Yuka loves quiet nights around the fire with Kishi and their Pokemon, eating marshmallows and stargazing. Yuka also has a weird secret. She was electrocuted as a child, so now she's afraid of electric Pokemon like Pikachu's. Kishi is Yukio's traveling buddy and GF, while Yukio is very. In catching her Pokemon, Kishi refuses to catch any in a battle. She always gives them the chance to come with her willingly, and if they do not want to, she is okay with it. She has five Pokemon now, and the most recent friend that she made was a Hunchcrow. Kishi does not aspire to become a trainer, but rather a coordinator. So while Yukio is training for Pokemon tournaments to win badges, Kishi is training for Pokemon contests to win ribbons. Her biggest positive trait is that she's patient and forgiving, while her biggest flaw is that she's bad at managing time and is therefore often late to things if others do not remind her constantly. Wanted to become a Pokemon trainer his whole life. His mother was a really famous trainer, and Masahiro has always looked up to her, and was always excited for the day when he would get his official Pokemon trainer's license so that he could leave home. He now travels around the world with his two best friends, all with the same goal: to catch them all. But Masahiro's favorite story to share with new people is the one where he did not catch one. It was a time when he met a Reshiram. He did not even try to catch it. He was too shocked to even see such a rare Pokemon. His little dog and Ivysaur were in shock too.
This is a character that I named Sakurako. She may be young, but she has big dreams already. Her life goal is to become a Pokemon master, just like her grandfather. She turned 10 just a year ago and started on her journey the very next day together with her twin sister Miki. But even though they are twins, they are almost nothing alike. Sakurako looks like their mother, while Miki looks like their father. Sakurako prefers grass Pokemon, her sister likes Pokemon that fly. One likes coconut ice cream, the other sweet licorice. The list goes on and on. But there are two things that these girls do have in common. They value each other to the moon and back, and they love their Pokemon. Ouch! What did I say about Pokeballs? Already knows that she wants to become a Pokemon breather when she grows up, but wanted to support her twin and her dreams, so she came with her on this journey. Her favorite type of Pokemon is the ones that can fly, and her goal at the moment is to catch one big enough for her to ride on it and experience flight too. Her only Pokemon, Rolet, is way too small for that. But like I said before, when she grows up, she wants to be a breeder, which means that she will raise and mate Pokemon so that their babies will be as strong and healthy as they can be. That means working with Pokemon babies and eggs all day long. But she will not be singing any lullabies to these Pokemon babies anytime soon, since she has a horrible singing voice. person who prefers a very simple life. If they can, they will avoid big adventures and even tournaments with all their might. But Ace they manages to always get into magical adventures, rivalries, big epic battles and amazing tournament opportunities. And they think it's so annoying and bothersome. Other people would love the chance to fight against a Suicune, for example, but A will just sigh and wish that they were on a pickwit with their bells proud on Psyduck instead. A also likes taking photos of Pokemon with instant cameras. According to A, there isn't a better feeling than seeing a happy Pokemon's reaction to its own photograph. become a Pokemon trainer for a long time, but almost did not do it because her bully said that she was not good enough for it. But when Eva got her Pokemon training license and met her very own little peep look for the first time, she stopped believing the bullies and quickly realized that they were all wrong about her potential. She can do it, and do so successfully. Now she trains with a teacher a couple of regions away from home spending her days learning how to take care and communicate with Pokemon in order to win battles. When she's not training, she's either playing with her Pokemon, taking sweets, or reading up on how to fix and tinker with electronic devices. she wanted to. Her single mother did not want her only child to leave home at such an early age, but Uta had already decided that she wanted to become a Pokemon performer. Becoming a Kalos Queen by winning all the showcases was her goal and nothing was going to stop her, so she ran away from home without saying goodbye. But do not worry, she regretted her decision and returned home after just one night. After that, mother and daughter had a long heart-to-heart -heart talk and came to the conclusion that Uta could leave if she called home every day. And she has never broken that promise, even over seven years. And yes, she did become a performer. 
career when she was 15, when she finally found the courage to venture out into the big wild world. She wanted to start earlier, but she was super super shy and really self-conscious about her ADHD. But her family and friends never doubted her and when she was ready, she called for her sand slash and off they went. She has been collecting two new Pokemon in just a few weeks and she's loving being a trainer. Her dream is to win all the badges from all the gyms, as well as writing her own book about her adventures. She has a diary in which she writes and draws in every day, so she won't forget all the amazing things that she experiences. And those were my 10 original Pokemon trainers! Hmm, I wonder how many times I have said the word Pokemon- Oh! Well, 